the most powerful way for you to sell on the web is using webinars, sales webinars. And I've been doing this for over a decade now, and I wanna share with you the story behind my very first launch, my very first time that I launched the sales webinar. Well, it was back in 2013, and I was a student, and I just bought an awesome course about how to sell on the internet, how to make product launches, and I was very excited to put it to work, to use the knowledge that I just learned and to make sales, to really sell something. So at first I needed a product. So I was, uh, I was developing a startup at the time and I created um, a, a platform for online, online K-12 education for students. So I was very, uh, it was easy for me to create online courses, to launch that and to video to, to take the edition and to get the, the video ready and to put in a platform so what i was able to do was to create online courses because i was working with that that was one of my uh my my skills at the time so i decided that i i was going to create a course about teaching people how to sell their knowledge on online courses using online courses so that was the product i was going to help people to create those courses and i was gonna use the sales webinar technique to make the sale however i was not very excited to put a lot of money in that because it was a very high risk at the time it was my very first product launch i need i didn't know exactly what to expect what to do but I got very, uh, I got, I was very excited and I was very anxious to make it work. So I decided to create an offer on what people needed. So I created bonuses, I created the hook, I created the guarantee. I put everything that I could that was in my, uh, that was that I could do to create the the irresistible offer, and I needed to create the list because whatever you're doing whatever you're selling you need people to sell to and if you already have a list of customers of people of contacts awesome but i didn't have any anyone to sell to so i needed to create the list first and i was not very good at the time uh using facebook ads i knew how to do it but i was i didn't want to take too long to to make the campaigns work so i decided to hire um, uh, uh, to hire another company that had i think it was 300,000 people in their list and we were in the same industry so they were business uh, business people inside that list and i got in contact with them and i could pay for them to 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 drive to, to just send a blast to their to their list and to bring people for my campaign right so it was I, I paid for one email they sent my copy they sent my invitation to 300,000 people and in the link they could click and register for my for my campaign for my for my webinar uh, by the way at the time I was not very I didn't want to put so much money so I raised capital from some friends people that wanted to invest in my launch so uh, I, I talked to several friends to to give me the money and we split the the profits uh, and I got the money that way I, I also put my own money but I I kind of uh, put I, I lowered the risk for myself because I got money from other people to invest so I hired the the list blast for four thousand at the time for four thousand bucks, uh, and I if I remember right, I got around a thousand and eighteen eighteen hundred people, eighteen hundred people in my I think it was exactly eighteen hundred seventy four people inside of my lounge. So that's it it was a one shot very high risk because i put four thousand bucks to make one email blast to three thousand 
300,000 people to get uh, my email and to, to register for my webinar. So it was high risk, high, high return. And a hundred, sorry, 1,874 people registered for my webinar and I did the webinar. Uh, I was very uh, anxious to do it. I was, I didn't know exactly what to expect. And I doubled my money. I doubled my money. I got eight. I think I I sold like five people, and which is not a lot, but anyway, it was it was good. If you think that I doubled my money, I put four thousand, uh, and I got eight thousand back. So it was very good for my very first try. However, however, expectations might be a bitch. <laughs> yes, because. I, I was under the impression that in my very first launch, I would make 80,000, 90,000 in returns. So it was very uh, disproportionate. I, I didn't know any better. I thought that I was going to do that. And even though it was a very big success, I didn't like it very much. I didn't, I wasn't excited about the returns because I thought that I, that I should have done much better. I was in my mind. I was going to get the money and buy the the brand new car that I really wanted. You know, like pay cash in everything. So I, I got disappointed with the launch, and it took me like six months to to do another another webinar, or maybe more, because I thought it didn't work. And that's the thing about expectations. We need to have the we I don't I don't want to say that we need to have low expectations. However, we have to have the right expectations. We need to have three goals, like the, the very lowest kind of goals, the middle uh, range goal and, and the very the very best, the, the one that we want to get, but might be not so, uh, not so. I mean, it's possible to achieve it, but maybe it's not exactly that that you're gonna get. So anyway, so my very first webinar launch was very successful. I doubled my money. I paid my investors back, and I got the profit. It was great, but it was not exactly what I wanted because I was expecting so much more, and we need to control our expectations because you need to do it over and over and over and over. In another video, I'm going to explain to you how I scale webinars doing live weekly webinars and making lots of money in profits every week and then how I automate it and, and do it every day. So that's a, that's a start for another day. But the, the, the key point about everything here is that you need to have the right expectations. You need to do the work. You have to risk but you shouldn't risk too much going back. I don't think it was very wise to spend so much in only one email blast. I think it was very risky if people didn't like it or if something happened, I would have paid the money and I could have not made it back. So we need to be very uh, cautious with our investments, especially when we are beginning, uh, we are at the start when you are beginning. Uh, but we need to be very strategic. We need to be very tactical uh, and we need to really do the work, make great offers, have great webinars, make the offer right, make the presentation right to make the whole thing profitable and to scale. All right. So hope you enjoyed this video. This is a series of videos here talking about webinars, talking about sales. And there's going to be a link down below that you can register right now and learn more about my webinars. I hope to see you there and see ya.